NASA has suddenly gone silent about Three Eye Atlas after bizarre movements were detected. Experts say something is happening, but no one's saying what. NASA's websites went dark at the exact moment humanity needed them most. As an interstellar visitor streaked past Mars at 130,000 miles per hour, government servers fell silent. The timing was so precise it felt orchestrated. 3I Atlas, a mysterious object from beyond our solar system, was making its closest approach to the Red Planet when suddenly, access to critical NASA data vanished. We should be ready for the possibility of a black swan, something that we suspect is natural but turns out to be technological. Amateur astronomers scrambled to download Mars orbiter images before the feeds cut off. What they found in those final transmissions has scientists divided. Some see a 33 billion ton comet, others see something that shouldn't exist at all. The object's trajectory aligned with our solar system's plane within 5 degrees. Odds of that happening naturally are 1 in 500. In particular, there is a tra trajectory which is perfectly aligned with the plane of the planets, and that is something that cannot be explained. Earth-based telescopes were already struggling with solar glare, making Mars our only reliable observation point. And that's when the data stopped flowing. The story gets stranger. On October 3rd, 2025, as federal websites displayed shutdown notices, citizen scientists were pulling raw data from Mars reconnaissance satellites. If you love uncovering space mysteries, hit that subscribe button. Because what comes next challenges everything we thought we knew about interstellar visitors. Picture this. You're a researcher tracking the third interstellar object ever detected. And suddenly your primary data source goes offline. That's exactly what happened when the US government shutdown coincided with three I Atlas's historic Mars flyby. The object, discovered on July 1, 2025, by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System in Chile, was already raising eyebrows in the scientific community. Unlike its predecessors, Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019, this visitor displayed characteristics that defied easy explanation. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, who previously suggested Oumuamua might be artificial, calculated that 3I Atlas's mass exceeded 33 billion tons. To put that in perspective, that's roughly equivalent to Mount Everest. For a comet, that's absolutely massive, about 1,000 times heavier than typical comets we see. The shutdown's timing couldn't have been worse. Mars was our only vantage point. From Earth, the object was lost in solar glare, essentially invisible to our most powerful telescopes. The Hubble Space Telescope the James Webb Space Telescope, all blind to this cosmic visitor during its most critical observation window. Only the spacecraft orbiting Mars could see it. But here's where human ingenuity kicked in. A citizen scientist named Drew on Twitter noticed something extraordinary in the final Perseverance rover images uploaded before the blackout. In a series of nine-minute exposures taken on October 2nd, a streak appeared across the Martian sky. This wasn't a typical star trail caused by Mars's rotation. Those appear vertical in the images. This streak was diagonal, moving at an angle that matched exactly where 3I Atlas should have been. The implications were staggering. If that streak really was 3I Atlas, it meant the comet was so bright that it registered on the rover's long exposure camera, despite being more than 28 million miles away. That's like spotting a firefly in New York from Los Angeles, an almost impossible feat. And yet, there it was, cutting across the Martian sky at 60 miles per second. What made 3I Atlas particularly unusual wasn't just its size or speed. The object's behavior challenged our understanding of cometary physics. Typically, when comets approach the sun, solar radiation causes their ice to sublimate, turning directly from solid to gas. This creates jets of material that act like tiny rockets, pushing the comet slightly off its gravitational path. Scientists call this non-gravitational acceleration. A 3I Atlas showed this effect, but barely. Despite visible outgassing creating a coma, that fuzzy cloud around a comet's nucleus, the object's trajectory remained remarkably stable. The measured acceleration was less than 50 feet per day squared, incredibly small for something supposedly shedding 130 pounds of material every second. This paradox led researchers to a startling conclusion. 
Either the object was far more massive than any interstellar visitor should be, or something else was happening. The mass calculations suggested a nucleus roughly three miles in diameter, not counting the surrounding coma that stretched 435,000 miles across, nearly half the sun's diameter. During the shutdown, European Space Agency stepped up. Their Mars Express and ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter continued observations. What they found added another layer to the mystery. The object showed strong water ice signatures, but mixed with minerals that didn't match typical solar system comets. The water appeared chemically pristine, lacking the heavy isotopes we'd expect from billions of years of cosmic ray bombardment. The trajectory itself raised questions that went beyond natural explanations. 3I Atlas approached our solar system on what astronomers call a retrograde orbit, moving opposite to the planet's direction. But unlike random interstellar debris, its path was aligned almost perfectly with the ecliptic plane where Earth and other planets orbit. The probability of this alignment happening by chance? About 0.2%. Even more intriguing, the object's closest approach to the Sun, called perihelion, would occur on October 29th, when Earth was positioned on the exact opposite side of our star. For nearly two weeks, humanity's home planet would have zero visibility of this interstellar visitor during its most active phase. If you were designing a trajectory to avoid Earth-based observation, you couldn't have planned it better. Some scientists proposed natural explanations. David Jewett from University of California pointed out that dust production rates fell within expected ranges for comets. The ejection velocities of 65 to 6,500 feet per second matched known cometary behavior. The lack of certain gases like cyanogen wasn't unusual for an object still four times Earth's distance from the Sun. But Loeb and his team at Harvard weren't satisfied with these explanations. They noted something peculiar about the object's brightness profile. When astronomers measure space objects, they assume the light we see is reflected sunlight. Based on this assumption, 3I Atlas would need to be 12 miles across to produce its observed brightness. But that size created a statistical impossibility. The amount of rocky material floating between stars is limited. Loeb calculated that an object that large should visit our solar system perhaps once every 10,000 years. Yet here it was, just eight years after Oumuamua, Either we were witnessing a cosmic lottery win, or the object was generating its own light. Self-illumination would change everything. If 3I Atlas produced its own light, it could be much smaller, perhaps only hundreds of yards across instead of miles. But what natural process could make a comet glow? Radioactive decay was possible, but would require concentrations of heavy elements rarely found in space. Internal heat could cause thermal emission, but maintaining such temperatures over millions of years of interstellar travel seemed impossible. The alternative explanation ventured into extraordinary territory. Loeb suggested the illumination could be artificial, powered by some form of technology. To generate the observed brightness would require roughly 10 gigawatts of power, equivalent to several nuclear power plants. While that sounds like science fiction, Loeb pointed out that any civilization capable of interstellar travel would have energy resources far beyond our current technology. As October progressed, new data trickled in despite the shutdown. The high-resolution imaging science experiment camera on Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter was rumored to have captured detailed images, though official releases were delayed. Amateur astronomers using the last available orbital elements tracked the object's position, comparing notes across international networks. The scientific community remains divided. The conservative view holds that 3I Atlas is simply an unusual comet from another star system, its oddities explained by formation in an alien environment billions of years ago. The water ice might have formed around a different type of star. The unusual trajectory could be coincidence. The massive size might reflect different conditions in its birth nebula. But the anomalies keep stacking up. The perfect ecliptic alignment the convenient solar conjunction during perihelion, the mass that defies statistical probability, the brightness profile that doesn't quite fit. Each could be explained away individually, but together they form a pattern that's hard to ignore. As 3I Atlas continues its journey toward Jupiter, where it will pass within 20 million miles of the gas giant in March 2026, 
we're left with more questions than answers. The Vera Rubin Observatory, just coming online, promises to detect dozens of interstellar objects annually. Perhaps with a larger sample, we'll understand whether 3i Atlas was truly anomalous or simply our first good look at what's really out there. The universe just reminded us that some mysteries arrive on their own schedule, not ours. Whether 3i Atlas was a natural wonder or something more profound, its passage exposed our vulnerability to cosmic surprises and bureaucratic timing. If this glimpse into the unknown fascinated you, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into space mysteries. Drop a comment below with your theory about what 3i Atlas really was and share this with someone who loves pondering what's really out there among the stars. Because sometimes the most important discoveries happen when we're not fully prepared to witness them.